and it's lights out and away we go as Mr. David Crofty says and Bradley immediately goes over to the left, uh, to the right, sorry, to cover up my side with the Williams there as well. FICO versus Phoenix. We have talked a lot about birds and let's see if this bird can sort of pass through. It's a really pissed up. May have he has got damage as well, so he's lost a little bit of his front wing. So the Merc is in. We'll be on board with him as the virtual safety car is going on and go back to the uh, racing when green flag sta uh, starts. And yep, yeah, the a wing change and there is a green flag. Scuffle, a bit of a fight. We'll have to see. So uh, as far as I can see, no one is really going for it at the moment. Everyone wants to settle into their respect. The day, that's for sure. Doesn't leave to see the fence. But they're in the background, yeah. isn't it? You have Nick and Thomas. They're going to have to file through here. You can go side by side, but somebody will definitely be in the medical center for that try, that one. Bang on the buck right there, because soft to medium is the way to go, especially in Silverstone. And medium to soft, if you are indeed on the counter strategy. So, it looks like everyone is getting... Inside, something. there's a spin. Oh, that's a synchronized spin! Lucky for ghosting, he's going to have to wait for that traffic to come around. Now he doesn't worry about waiting for traffic to come around. He might be keeping an eye on that Williams, my friend, because that DRS is coming into power right now, and Bradley has to try to keep him at bay. And I tell you what, the Williams has got a full tank of battery to be deployed anytime he wants on that right foot. Give him so much more kilowatt power. Can Bradley defend? Ah, oh, Fico, you want to save about 10% off your uh, insurance? Okay. <laughs> it's the Fico insurance for Williams. Here we go, Colin, getting pretty close there. Different lines of Nick up above them, uh, down the road there too, mate. And keep an eye on Cossie, I think, at P5. Uh, pretty black and white there. Uh, Nick didn't fight that too hard, got the position. Uh, yeah, well, it really is in the first second second. I'm really confused. Well, first, he might go for the yeah. move here, and there it is. The Williams pulls to the right, and Bradley is not defending it. He sticks to the line, and Fico eases back to the racing line. It is move for it. No, he's not. He decided to step uh, step back, and also Phoenix, because of that little scuffle there, uh, Phoenix has brought himself back under seven tenths now. So close to the point five that I was talking about earlier about getting better. I'm calling him Thomas anyway, even with the crazy symbols next to his name. <laughs> oh, that Thomas, I was... <laughs> yeah, look, they're great symbols, they're not great. Yeah, DRS runs, really isn't it, now, mate? That's what it's turned into, a Saudi Arabian Jetta Grand Prix at the moment, where if you get a DRS, you get a DRS, and On you top get of it. So it looked like uh, the other Ferrari, so one Ferrari gained, one Ferrari lost. But as it ain't over yet, the city's really tucked up on the gearbox there of Carlos. Whole safety car. So what they, is oh, the Are they going to box? They're just passing it? Oh, they, some of them have passed it. Oh, Bradley was thinking about it. Yeah, and Fika pulls the trigger. He couldn't get in there in time. Oh, that's very unfortunate. That that five second penalty is going to stick till the end if he cannot... Uh, fight that as a game bug or anything but it didn't look like it so Bradley is the one who lost that big time on you know, so why not track position is crucial it's no point in yeah. getting rid of those mediums yet Everyone, but the big loss else. as well yeah. the big loss as well is that the pit lane is so oh, long yeah. across the pit uh, ah. entry uh, line and of course uh, F1 okay. regulation and some league ex uh, exceptions Thanks. Green flag running, and it's Thomas leading the pack now. It's the Alpine driver, Tixi is following him. The top five haven't pitted yet. Uh, sorry, the top four haven't pitted yet. Happening, so if a five second penalty is going to drop, uh, then we oh, know why. Lost Costas as well. Another yellow. Costas Kos has gone around the Red Bull, so Red Bull's days is just turning horrible right now. Heading down Phoenix Stowe, making let's a run. see. Gonna... Phoenix making a run side by side with Pato. There's, there's fresh tyres coming to play, mate. So Fico's got it done. Phoenix has now got it done. Huge advantage on the enable this lap. Oh, it should be last of the late breakers around here, exactly. But you've got to get your car around, low enough space. Go very wide around the outside of club. You should be able to because the tyres are much more grippier. And there it is. And guess what? Uh, Sydney's thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> so Pato is uh, dropping from the sky here. And uh, I'm saying that because of our bird watching coming back? propaganda earlier. <laughs> Cindy's oh, trying to get past. It's enabled, so that's an easy pass for the McLaren driver. Already passed the Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo was a bit sad there. But Fico is already he's, in. he's up to P7. He's already got past Pato and City. And now Colin's up for, for uh, a bit of uh, Bradley breakfast. There it is. Done, I think, for the Red already Bull driver. Done the dust, the Phoenix 
to get an overtake done as they're both going to draw in Lennon. And once again, this might be frustrating if I go a little bit on the fresh rubber. Yeah, I might because he's using all of that grip now to try to overtake these two cars ahead. Pato's losing another place, mate. What was that from P2 to P11 now after a couple of laps? No, not really ideal. That's a lot of faith and you have in the other driver. Yeah, and Tixi just gives him enough room. But Tixi gets the better exit. Oh, the wheel bang and all the come out of <coughs> Yeah, this is just Tixi this is holding him up, there. isn't it? It, it, it uh, I don't know what's going to happen to the guys on the mediums because the rain is still a little bit too far away. 15 minutes or so. You can't go those tyres that long. That laps to go. Outside there. Compromise Tix's line and Tix's exit is compromised. Are they going to go side by side? No. Oh. And Tixie gone a bit too deep there and Fike gets a good exit there going around the outside of the Alfa Romeo. Let's see if he can stick the move. Can't. And Tixie just doing a wonderful job on defending. This, this Fike can't find a way around. Soon Gonzalez is going to be thinking about overtaking Fike and say, give me a shot at the Alfa Romeo. Yep. To get around me. Oh, I was <laughs> moment there from Gonzalez. That might allow him uh, in, under attack from Bradley. It will. And he is defending. And Bradley wants the inside line. Oh, it's going to be tight. You know what? This one's gone to the wide. 19 at 26. I think he might have got it done. He might have now. Tell you what, Gonzalez really put up a fight for that one. Bradley had to earn his paycheck to get that overtake. Yeah, but Bradley oh, is inside up. line as well. Bradley drifting off wide just on the track limit there, track line. And oh, Sander for Sanders, and maybe this can be a slingshot kind of overtake to get him into a DRS with the cars ahead. Because right, mate. Only like school kids in the playground fighting all the time, send them to the principal's office, and they're back at it again the next day. Yeah. Pass and oh, that's a retiree. Oh, that's, that's a Ferrari. A Full course safety car. Yeah, that's Jacob. I think going around somewhere. That was yeah. He's in the dirt. He slipped on the uh, Your Majesty's Queen Elizabeth's Corgi uh, poo poo somewhere around there. Yeah, you can't lose those track positions now. It's crucial. They're too bunched up. Remember, you got Is Lennon and Fico that's going to drop all the way back, as I said, to uh, around that uh, P12 position. That's a lot of work to do with three laps to go. Hmm. Good, good gamble, guys, but uh, I don't know if, he, if they're going to allow you in Las Vegas for gambling like that, mate. <laughs> I mean... I did see drops earlier, but is it, is it going to be enough? we got three laps, two th racing this laps. This gamble might be, oh. like, one of the best gambles that we've seen. <laughs> Gladly <laughs> taken. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't drink it warm, but I'll put it back in the fridge once you get it. Just put it outside for snow. Here we go. There is no snow here in Sweden. <laughs> But what I can tell you, there is some rain in... Basically a two-lap sprint with no DRS as well. No of your cheat code assistance, guys. Band versus machine versus whatever the hell tires you're on. Yeah, and we saw what may happen. And it's a yellow flag condition across all the sectors momentarily, but now it's green flag, green flag, uh, flag uh, running again. It's, good, it's too late now. It is too late can now, Bradley and they win? cannot do anything about it. Oh, Sander do this. is in the mix. Sander's disconnected, uh, reconnected. I'm having a little bit of issues here. Something here. He's like, you know, I don't care if you're leading the championship, my friend. I've done it. I'm doing a 13th, 13th to podium run, perhaps. Look at that run. They're going in. Don't to... know what. Oh, Sander's getting all squarely on the exit there. Uh, in stall, and Sander is yeah, that's a it. bit everywhere at the moment. It's the rain goes. just heading here. It's FICO's race to win. It's FICO's race has done it. Williams driver waving to the Queen. Your Majesty is impressed. When's the last time you've had a Williams win a Silverstone race? Well, talk to this man. FICO, yeah. you've done it. Yeah. You've done it. I see you. I see you. don't need goggles, mate. We see you. Williams uh, on the top two step. Two Red Bulls. At home. Accompany him. In Silverstone.